Hey guys, it's Wolf here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode. We're finally going to be able to do some actual uh, races in the season for the Truck Series and contend for a potential championship. So, we're going to be starting off at, at Daytona, but like I said at the end of the last video, we're going to be uh, messing around with the paint scheme. So, um, let me do that real quick. I'm just going to back out of here. I'm hoping nothing gets reset. I'm really worried about that. But, let's just go to my driver, and I'll be back when I uh, edit this car. Or truck, I should say. And here is the final paint scheme setting for the truck. I think it with a very final, like, base or paint scheme. And also we're using colors similar to 218's uh, either appearance and attire. Black for, like, the black leggings and, like, black shirt. And yellow for, like, the blonde hair. And blue for, like, the blue uh, top jean skirt thing. So that's kind of what we're basing this on. Um, and also the wheel rims are a little bit, like, white-ish somewhat but yeah we're gonna save the paint job and this is what we're gonna be racing with obviously some of the sponsors are on there like loves dow and uh, advocare aspen dental and actually i might mess with the aspen dental just right now because i think that just doesn't look right where the white is so we might just put in tax act instead if i can look at it yeah that looks okay so we're gonna go with that Let me just double check yeah we're gonna go with tax act there so that will be the final uh adjustment for the paint scheme and that's what we're gonna go with so yeah that's our truck for career mode nothing too um yeah crazy but it's uh it's a start so now let's get into the uh career do qualifying at daytona and see if we do not start last again because that always seems to happen so contracts six teams available i guess we have to redo this again which is weird maybe i didn't start off properly but whatever we're gonna go to the Rakislavski custom truck, and there we go. And let's just start season one. Are you sure you want to start the season with the currently signed contracts? Absolutely. And we get a message from Rakislavski. Okay, what, what does he have to say? Congratulations on your full-time ride in the Camping World Truck Series. We're all ready to see what you can do. That was really awkward. Okay, we get another one. We're super excited that you decided to join my team, Brad Keselowski Racing. So suit up and put in max effort and let's go win this championship. That was awkward again. Okay. So I guess throughout the truck series we're going to get the uh, the hot seat offers and all that for staff. But yeah. Um, settings always going to just keep it a legend 13% everything. So nothing's going to change there. Now let's go into the next race. And incentive contracts between the provider opportunities. There. Okay. Alright. So we could just base it on difficulty, current position, better pay out of 10. Okay. So I don't know what we're going to go with. I, I guess we'll start off with the lowest and then work our way up. So we'll just start with that just to be safe. So, All right, now let's uh, dive right into the the Daytona truck race. Now turn four, we'll see what this lap time is. Um, it's been eternity <laughs> taking these two laps. We'll see what this lap time brings us, and it's last. Okay. I just waste like a good three minutes of time. Still like a good seven tenths off. All right, <laughs> new new team, but nothing's new <laughs> with the qualifying. Here we are. The race is about to begin. Get ready, and the green flags out. We're underway at the Truck Series race at Daytona, and it's 11 laps. I think we have 16 laps in the race itself, is and everything. So we'll see when we cross the line. Okay, 13 laps, and we're about 11 on it. So we're gonna be pitting with like at least four laps left to go or so. It's going to be interesting. We're going to see how this truck performs uh, since it's a pretty much a top tier truck run. So, uh, I'm assuming, I, don't, I really don't know what to really expect, honestly. Maybe a top 15? Not too sure. But we're in the draft at Greenfield here. We'll see what we can do. We're getting a decent run on them. We're going to try to make a move on the back stretch. We're we'll trying to make it three wide. And we do just that. We have a little bit of an opening going into three. Will it give me room? He actually does, but we were kind of swarmed in a bunch of black trucks. <laughs> just black trucks all around us. So it's just ironic. We moved up a few spots in the first lap, trying to get to the inside of Chavis here. And we're getting the draft from, I don't even know who's in front of me. I, I can't tell. Boyd. Spencer Boyd, I think. But yeah, we're gaining some spots. The truck actually seems to have some decent um, speed. So, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if we can win, but that that sounds kind of crazy to assume. Considering the last race we did at Brackett's Austin Racing was a, we 
did, we went to Chicago and absolutely just molly the entire field. So, um, I, I don't know. That would be amazing if we could somehow win here. But we're moving up through the field pretty good here. Gaining some spots. Not really anything too crazy. They're giving me... They're being spacious. They're giving me room. So that's also nice. Nemechek's right there. He gives me room too. Thank you, Nemechek, for basically just letting me go. And we've already moved up into 19th in about two laps. Now let's get to the inside of Chastain. It's, I don't know. It's, I have a good feeling about this race. I don't know. Something about it. I got a good feeling. Because we're just going through the field like crazy. It's amazing how we start last. Yeah, in the race trim, we're just a completely different beast on its own. So, so. interesting. Maybe in this like alternate reality, we can single-handedly bring Brad Gazlowski back from nearly being defunct. This would be so amazing that we'll just bring up all the funding and then save the team. That that's 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 what I want to imagine in this war in this game. That would be a uh, be interesting. I don't know when these trucks are gonna pit. Like NASCAR Evolution, they would pit like four or five laps sooner than uh, what the estimated fuel would be. So, for example, if it would be 11 laps uh, for the full, the, like estimated fuel, they would pit around like like uh, five or six laps remaining in fuel or in the run. So it's really really early, but I think they fixed it in this game, so it's a little bit more closer to the the estimated time or estimated pit stop. So. That's good to see, I hope so. We'll see. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But we've already cracked inside the top 10. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just disgusting. I don't know. We might just win a truck championship at our first race. If this is how good we're doing at Daytona. Well, then again, anybody can be good at Daytona, so maybe I'm speaking too soon. Alright, caution's out. Everybody's pitting, so that throws a monkey wrench in everything. So. Let's just pit. We're going to take two tires. I'm not going to risk taking four and losing 20, 30 spots. So yeah, we'll just see what this pit stop brings us and see where we place. And we're going to be starting 17th, so we lost eight spots. I, I figured so. I figured so. God damn. Uh, and the green flag's back out again. We got six laps left to go. No more fuel worrisomes or anything for this. So it's just going to be a mad dash to the end. Kind of starting right in the middle of the field, considering how much we gained in the first, nearly the first half of the race, we might be in a good shot to win or just do well. <laughs> so I'm excited. As long as we stay on the bottom, I think we'll have a good shot. I don't know who's leading. It might be John Hart Nemechek, but the entire top lane is just completely checked up, and Jennifer Joe Cobb staying right behind me. So good girl, Jennifer. We, we girls got to work together because remember our drivers are girls. So. That's, that's I. It's, it's cute. We've already moved inside the top ten. We're almost... Ooh, we might almost lose the draft from Cody Coughlin. It's a little bit concerning. Do we keep it? I'm just going to go to hook cam here. Hopefully we can get it. I think we're there. We should be there. And, alright. I, all right, I think we're back into Cody's draft, which is... Oof, a little bit scary. We were pretty close to being outside the draft. But we, we just got it. And now we have five laps left to go into the race. Now let's just try to make some moves and get to the lead. I think we can pull this off. We just need to keep staying on the bottom. Don't I just had Austin Wayne self-leading? <laughs> what an upset that would be! And look at this. We got Chase Briscoe up here. Is it Chase Briscoe? Yeah, Chase Briscoe. Okay, look at that. BKR almost one, two, three. Well, one, two. Austin Centric went home. Wayne Self is gonna get passed by uh, Briscoe, and now. He's pretty much getting Briscoe basically gift wrapped with us in the second position. And now our sights on him for the lead. I think we could pull it off. We get a good bite off four. We keep it on the bottom. And now we're side by side. A little bit of side drafting as we just obviously made contact with him. And I, I don't think we let that lap. It was very, very close. And let's just clear him. And we do just that. Then block down low to hold off Regan Smith. And there we go. We're in the lead in the Daytona. 250. I was gonna say 500, but this is the one of the bigger races for the truck series. So this is a, a big uh, marquee event for for them. Probably right around, probably around the same tier as Eldora. Probably. We block Regan Smith. We block Risco. And we block Regan Smith. Then we gotta block Cody Coughlin. All right. So they're not. I'm not gonna just pull away with this. Uh, so this is gonna be interesting to see how we can hold off all of these lines. So 
laps to go into the race for me. I'm just continuing to block and hold up this bottom line. They really haven't made an effort to uh, have a line going up on the outside or anything like how it was when I just initially got the lead. So it's just been kind of single file for the most part. They haven't really made a, an attempt to pass me unless they just don't have a run or something or just holding them by everybody. We're, we're hanging on. I'm just looking in my mirror basically like almost 90% of the time. So we're just going to continue to block as much as we can. It's really all for nothing in these uh, truck races considering the fact that we don't have stages on. And also we just need to kind of get a win and then we'll be in the chase. So really it's go for broke time or well, at least for, for this. So yeah, if we explode and it fall apart then we're going to hopefully we'll do it in some fantastic fashion. But we're in the triable and we're going to be hitting the white flag here one more time around. And we're going to see if we can hang on one more lap. Matt Crafton looks like he's forming a, a, a line up on the outside. I don't know if we'll be able to do much there. But we're hanging it here on the bottom. If we can win this in our first official, well not really a first, but our second race for Brad. But the you know first time we're even going to a restrictor plate in, in our career. And we're just going to put a whipping on this field and just hold everybody up. And we got a truck, we got a slow truck up there. I don't think they'll cause an issue, but that's interesting. But Matt Crafton's still there up on the outside. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. We're going through turns three and four for the final time. Off of turn four, we're going to probably pull an upset. This random female out of absolutely nowhere is just going to win the truck race at Daytona. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, that was good. I'm quite surprised that we managed that I pull that off. All right. <laughs> All right. Well. Um. Yeah, I think a championship is quite possible in this truck. It's, it's pretty damn beastly. Check out everything. Jennifer Joe Cobb tenth. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Nothing too weird there. Who got last? Ben Rhodes. That's I, I, I like that. Let's get out of here. And our bank total get that much for the race and then whatever team pay out which is 10,000 yeah 10,000 so yeah we just gained more than we ever did <laughs> compared to those hot seat races that's crazy we gained like two times more so we we're pretty much already locked ourselves into the chase for the truck series so uh, we're good to go for the rest of the season and look at that we're gonna get our victory lane little celebration here I don't know if we'll be in the custom uniform or the Brad K uniform I don't I don't really know, honestly. Okay, it's just a regular green uniform. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, happy with that. It was a good race. I don't know why her hair doesn't look blonde, but, um, it, it, it's hair, so, I mean, it's close enough, apparently, so. Yeah, let, let's just, let's just get out of here. Ooh, and we get a message from Joey Logano. What do you have to say? Great job. Your first win as a NASCAR driver. That was meaningless. Congrats on your first truck race. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do this season. I like that. That was nice, Ryan Blaney. Actually had emotion and actually seemed to give a shit. So, I, I like you. So, alright. Next race, I guess, is just straight to Atlanta. Alright. So, that will be where the, the next video will be b at is at atlanta we'll see what we can do there can we go three for three in the bkr truck this is our year second career win that's crazy so we'll see we'll just have to wait and see anyways that's it for this video like i always say i do appreciate love feedback and support all you guys give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run also i want to give a big thanks and shout out to tier 3 patreon supporters of dale reynolds Braden hill and scott browning i really appreciate you three for donating the amount he did and it's really freaking cool that you did that so thank you guys so damn much i'll see you guys all at atlanta we'll see what we can do i'm hoping we can get another win and kind of just destroy the truck field <laughs> so see you all later and as always have a good day everyone